Hey guys, so a new update just dropped regarding Sakura events. So you can now actually romance her in her own event. She even is now present in the Great Ant City, which is an explorable new region. And you can also see her in the character lore. She is the only character that got added to the lore this update. This is still the guy, the monkey guy from the last update. Furthermore, the item lore now also shows you your accessories. So you can marvel at your wonderful imperial seal, at your true animal rings. I'd say it's quite nice that they finally added it. it was long overdue. Furthermore, all the internal manuals are also now in the lore. This is something I have wanted for a long time and I never understood why it was not the case. But now our lore is a bit more complete. Furthermore, we got a few new scenes. Now, I do not have the Yanyun ones yet, so I'd estimate like three new scenes. And the ending screen looks very good. Yes. Besides that, there were some improvements regarding the back mountain. It now can be toggled whether it produces wood or not, like wood and stone or not, so you don't get the cluster spam in your chat. Furthermore, they included an achievement buff to initial items. Like initially, you can choose one from, like you can choose from three items, and each unlock of 50 achievements. Wait a second, I need to scroll this a bit. Of 50 achievements, will add one more choice. It is perfectly readable. This description. I don't know what problems you may have with it. But this now means we can, besides our usual items, include more gift items. You could essentially make your early game a bit easier. Additionally, as you can see, they also added an achievement to bond with Sakura. This also grants 1 AP, so Cake of God is no longer mandatory to get the best trade load out. As Cake of, uh, having Cake of God will just grant you 1 AP putting your total at 396, and there is no difference from 395. Besides all that, there were some quality of life changes, like filtering by quality when uh, selling items. Furthermore, something that was kind of infuriating in the previous versions is the red dot showing up on your character. This supposedly won't appear as often. Then the Skybreaker Tower got a limit to its score gained per floor, which caps out at floor 50. This now means that if you want to go for a high score, you have to go for the highest difficulty right from the get-go, and it hopefully will prevent the score value from overflowing at some point, which happened in the previous iteration of the tower. Now our Yan Yun area event line is now a bit expanded but as they mentioned you can choose to continue or not it does not seem like it will offer all too many rewards furthermore as seen by the law there are no new legendary items or manuals so don't get your hopes up high now they also apparently revamped the parry percent block damage as i noticed in my own testing it was kind of weird sometimes. I don't know exactly how they changed it or fixed it, but we'll see. Then also some other modifiers. Apparently every man has his duty was not functioning correctly. I've not really used it since most endgame fights don't require it, or rather you barely get any value in those. And those were the updates. I still am very disappointed that we only get, got one achievement, but at least it is going in the right direction. Like the fact that we got a whole new city, some more event lines in this case for Sakura, and some very much needed quality of life features with the lore and the UI changes, I very much welcome. So thanks guys for watching, see you next time.